Using its remarkable eyesight, a hungry coelophysis spots its prey. After a high-speed chase, it draws blood. Death follows in seconds. Fast, efficient, and ruthless, Coelophysis unleashed a new kind of terror on the prehistoric world. Its secret was two innovations, which would go largely unchanged for the next 200 million years. The first was an insidious new weapon. Plunk, plunk. Now, what Coelophysis did is to develop special forks on the hand. Three fingers, thumb the shortest and the strongest, second finger and third finger with claws, extra fingers, no claws at all. Those three fingers were designed to close as they flexed, open when they extended, close when they flexed to grab and hold meat. This apparatus was new, new to the dinosaurs in the Triassic. The second innovation was in the jaw. 220 million years before we invented knives and forks, Coelophysis had a set of its own. Now, if you are a Coelophysis, you would want to know how to prepare meat. To prepare meat, you have special teeth. You have steak knife teeth, designed sort of like this, but smaller, with a cutting edge along the back. Steak knives are fine for going through the meat, but for cutting slabs of meat more quickly, you need multiple steak knives. And that's exactly what we have here in the Triassic kitchen. The Coelophysis jaws, in fact, up to 20 steak knives, all hooked together in the jawbone. So you can go, wonka da, wonka da, wonka da, wonka da. But wait, if you order now, there's more. There are upper steak knives, and there are lower steak knives. And there are joints in the skull and the jaw, so the lower steak knives can go backwards, and the upper steak knives can go backwards, independently. What do we have here? But two electric carving knives. With carving knives for teeth, Coelophysis could devour its prey by ripping it apart. But this new predator relied on more than an arsenal of lethal weapons. It had the stealth and cunning of a modern killer, the wolf. Stalking the Triassic world was not one, but an army of Coelophysis. Like wolves, they worked in teams, each animal intuitively trained to a specific task. Some pursue the prey, while others encircle it, cutting off the route of escape. Finally, they move in for the kill. A pack of hungry Coelophysis would have been a terrifying sight. In a macabre dance of death, they close steadily, one by one on the prey. With light, agile bodies and deadly claws, their victims didn't stand a chance. Working together, Coelophysis could bring down animals many times their size. Remarkably, the last meals of several Coelophysis have been preserved at Ghost Ranch. Found in their stomachs were fossil remains of reptiles and fish, along with another tantalizing tidbit. Inside the stomach of this creature lie these tiny bones. They belong to a baby Coelophysis. The discovery intrigued Mark Norell of the American Museum of Natural History. Originally, one of the ideas was that these may be uh, embryos or animals that were developing inside the coelophysis, that they had live birth. But when the animals were studied more, it was found out that they represented different sizes that were in the inside of the stomach. And also, the animals were far too large to have been new hatchlings. In fact, some of them are almost teenager sized. The revelation that coelophysis devoured its kin raises some provocative questions. Was it a cannibal? 
or was it crazed by starvation and drought? Either way, the evidence is chilling. What this tells us was the Coelophysis was perhaps a cannibal, but at least a scavenger, in that it ate some of its own kind. Whether or not they were dead already when it ate them, nobody really knows. But at least it tells us that, in fact, they weren't shy about eating their brothers out there about 220 million years ago. Streamlined and cold-blooded, Coelophysis was a terrifying miniature version of what was to come. With its innovative jaw, its gashing claw, and its heightened cunning and speed, it had all the makings of a world-class killer. In a hundred million years, this tiny creature from the dawn of the dinosaurs would leave its legacy to the largest predators ever to walk the Earth. Yeah.